Hello again. It's Saturday, day six of my video week, and today I'm doing not quite a review, as uh, as you know it. Uh, it's more of a well, it's a comparison between two figures. These two. Now, Classics Mirage. As you can see, I've got two of them. Why is this? Well, one I picked up at uh, a car boot sale, the other I picked up at auto assembly. One cost me four quid, the other cost me 25 quid. What's the difference? That is the whole point of this review, well, this video. It's a comparison. I'm going to compare one with the other and see what's what. One of these is a fake and the other's the real deal, a genuine transformer. So this is bot or con, knockoff comparison with Classics Mirage. So let's start off with the vehicle mode. We'll pick this one first. Now, it's a Formula One style car with an enclosed cockpit. It, uh, duh. there you go. See, it rolls. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a great little car. You look at it. It's got a bit of a bit of a sheen to the plastic. Can you see that there? A bit of a glossy sheen. We'll get back to that later. Um, the decals, the you know, Tampa Graph decals. Not particularly bit. That one there is a bit uh, a bit faded on the the spark of the spark plugs. These two here, these FP Racing. You'll notice that one there is the same way round as that one. That one should be reversed. It should be the opposite way round to that one. I, when you're looking from the side of the car, you can read it from the side of the car, whereas on this side it's upside down. Got the racing numbers on the side. Got a racing number on the front. Uh, the uh, Lithonian uh, drivetrain. Now I think on this figure that's quite interesting because it says Lithonian. I mean, Lithonian refers to the planet of Lymphos, which is the planet that was uh, eaten by Unicron at the start of the 1986 Transformers the movie, the animated one. So little reference there to uh, Transformers the movie, which is quite interesting. Yeah, so, and there's these other decals here, these little green ones, which obviously my camera hasn't got a, a macro on it, unfortunately. And it says uh, plasma injection energy. So, I had a quick look at this one. What about this other one? Now, first thing you noticed, rub symbol. It's got a rub symbol, which the other one hasn't got. That's kind of a giveaway. The printing on here, much much better the plastic as you can see not quite so shiny it's got kind of like a matte sort of almost semi textured finish to it um, these decals here you see FP racings that way up and that one is upside down so when you flip it round it then reads the right way got racing numbers on the side Got the uh, Lithonian drivetrain printed on there, another racing number there. One thing I will say about this one, it's got some paint blemishes. If you look on the wheel here, you can see there's a splodge of silver on the wheel. And then if you look on the on the windscreen, you can see just here, just there, there's two little white splodges of paint on the side of the cockpit. Which if you look on this one. It hasn't got either. So, which is which? This is the real one, this is the fake one. Another thing I want to point out here, on the moulding on the back here, on this one, there's slight, you can probably see there, there's some slight distortions on the, the mould lines. You see them there, see them? Them little distortions there? This one hasn't got them. 
so slight distortion. So, in comparison between these two cars in their alt mode, which is the better? Well, it swings in roundabouts because on the whole, the real one is better. Rob symbol, better decals, but it does have the paint blemishes, which lets it down. And also some of the decals, then these green ones here are slightly brighter and better printed on the fake one than they are on the real one, which is kind of strange. Anyway, so on the whole, so I'm going to get in the way of me light. On the whole, yeah, the real one just about edges it out. Another thing, um, panel fit. Um, for some reason, the real one has got a bit of a gap there between the, the, the panel fit there and that one hasn't. Again, that's a knock against the real one. So it swings and roundabouts really in the uh, alt mode. They both have good things and bad things about each each of them. So, yeah. So let's move on to transformation. Now, I was not going to bother transforming. I was just going to go switch straight to the uh, bot mode. But as this is my video week, I'm doing this new gimmick where I have like uh, magic hands from the side. Let's get on to that, shall we? There you go, <laughs> two bots transformed. Um, as you probably saw, I had a bit of a problem with one of them. He kept falling apart at his waist joints. But anyway, here we have them. Two Mirages, classic Mirages transformed. Let's pick one and see where we're at. This one. As you can see, it's the real one. It's the real, the real deal. Now, it has been said this guy has got articulation coming out the wazoo. It's amazing the the, the feats of gymnastics that this character can transform. Especially, I mean, obviously he's got a really flexible waist joint for starters. Right, he's got he's got. Pivoted sh shoulder with a ball joint. So the, the arms, they go in and out. They go all the way around, up and down, in and out. They go any which way. Double elbows. So he can do that. He can pull his elbows right up or right back. Got a, an upper bicep swivel. Hasn't got swiveling fists, but they are on a pivot joint, so they, they do sort of pivot inwards, part of the transformation. Head is on a ball joint and a separate sort of joint, which you can see just about there, which goes backwards and forwards. So he's got a lot of that going on. And <laughs> take it from me, he's got light piping. It does work, um, but I haven't got my little LED pointer to show you, but it does work. So that's his top half. Bottom half, obviously getting around the right way. He's got double knees. Obviously he's got uh, ball jointed hips that go any which way you want. 
He's got these little flat things, these little skirts at the top of his legs, but they're pivoted and they move out of the way. And he's got double knees, so his legs will go right the way back and most of the way forwards, but you know, this bit of body work gets in the way. But you know he can uh, perform a high kick. He can, you know, do the old uh, Zen trance. He can cross his legs. He can do anything. Amazing the articulation you can get with this guy. Dynamic poses you can pose him in. Absolutely fantastic. Obviously, yeah, and his feet are on these these um the spoiler. They're on uh, like a pivot and a ball joint, so they move any which way you want. So again, you, you've got a bit of posability on the feet as well. In other words, this guy's bloody amazing. Bit of kibble with this sticking out the top, I think. They could have done something with hiding that away. But... And the fact that uh, his weapon is part of his alt mode is quite interesting. So at least he's got some weapon storage. So, great figure. Now... As you can see, the old shaky shaky test, he's quite solid, this guy. His head stays put, he's got nice tight joints. The waist swivel's a little bit loose, has to be said, but at least it stays in one piece. So yeah, anyway, genuine classic Mirage. Now, we're on to the knockoff. <laughs> that says it all, doesn't it? That says it all. Worst thing on this guy is his waist joint. It is, it does not clip in properly. It, you twist it, it comes off. It is absolutely ridiculous. Next worst thing about him is his head. Don't know if you can see it, but this guy has got a severe case of ragdoll physics going on. His arms as well. Floppy, floppy arms. Floppy, floppy arms. And, yeah. It's, it, it's junk. It's, it's crap. That's what really lets this figure down. Quite literally. It's <laughs> the fact that the build quality on him is absolutely pants. The tolerances on his joints are just not there. Now, I have a theory about this. My theory is this. I reckon these two toys were made in the same factory. Because it has to be said that Takara and Hasbro make most of their toys in China. Most of them. Some of them are made in Korea and Taiwan, but most of them are made in China. Now... Another thing I ought to note is that the, the fake has got, you can't really see it, but on there, it's got stamped copyright 2006, Hasbro Takara 2006 made in China, right? And it's exactly the same as the stamp he's got on here, so it's got all the copyright stamps on it. But it's trying so hard to be a genuine one. I mean, they obviously use the same mould for both these toys. And I think my theory is this, Hasbro or Takara go to a Chinese factory and they say, right, they give them the designs and the moulds for the toys and say, right, make us a batch of these toys. They then make a batch of them using you know, the best quality plastics or, or decent quality plastics and you know, inks for the you know, decent quality paint and inks for the tamper graphs. And then once the order's finished, you know, Hasbro or Takara take their batch of toys away and the factory that made them either copies the moulds or they, they still retain the original manufacturing equipment they made with the, and they run off a batch of the toys themselves. But they use substandard you know, plastics, they use substandard uh, paints, they use cheaper materials to make them. And the reason why the joints are so floppy is because they use the, the mould so much that it wears out and then you get the crap tolerances on the joints. 
that's just a theory. It's probably complete bollocks, but you know, the Chinese are quite capable of reverse engineering anything these days. They just get something, reverse engineer it, and chuck out their own version of it. But anyway. Now there's one more thing I just want to mention. The genuine toy, this one, I bought loose at Auto Assembly for 25 quid. This one I bought at Stonely Car Boot Sale for 4 quid and he came in this. A box. And you look at the box and it's like it looks totally genuine. It's got all the copyright information on the bomb. It says made in China, but you know, Transformers Collectors Club. It's got all the figures you can buy. The bio is tech spec. And uh, it uh, comes with the, uh, you know, transformation instructions that look genuine. It's even got a part number on it. Now, now the other thing is, it's um, it's got this little thing, which opens out to show the robot. Now, these on the original boxes, they're, st they're stuck on the front. They're stuck on there, so that you can take the box and open it up like so. But this one wasn't. It was actually inside the box, so you couldn't open it. Now when I got this toy at a car boot sale, I showed it before I opened it, and somebody commented on my video that it was a fake before I'd even opened the toy. How did they know that this toy was a fake before I'd even, you know, had a look at it? That's what I want to know. I mean, it's even got, you know, the Autobot insignia on there, look. See it? So yeah. He came in a, in, a, in a genuine looking box. So I thought at the time that it was a, a proper transformer. Turns out it wasn't. It was a fake, but made to look like a real one. You know, it's one thing having a knockoff that sort of looks like a real toy, or it's the same as a, you know, it's the same as a transformer, it's, but it's like it's, it's, they've enlarged the mould and gave it some garish colours. But this is, you know, a proper rip-off of a genuine toy, word for word. There are very little to choose between them, apart from the shod, shoddy joints and the fact that uh, slightly different paint finish and one's got a rub symbol on it. You know, that's, that's the main difference. But anyway, that has been my comparison review of, you know, the Mirage toy. Now, I've got one more video to go in my video week. I've been putting these videos off. I've been struggling to, to bring myself to do them. I've got one more to do, one more to do, and then I can finally release my video week. And uh, before, well, you, you probably would have seen it before now, but <laughs> I'm going to be doing a, another chew in the fat before I release my video, basically to announce my video week. But I've got so much, I, I, I'm, you know, I like to collect, you know, um, material together, enough material before I release a chew in the fat. I've got oodles of things I want to talk about, but I can't do it until until I've reviewed this guy, because he's the last one. Anyway, one final thing, and this is a message for Mr. Few Adams. Hello, Mr. Few, are you watching? You are one of my subscribers. Right. You see this toy and this box, they're yours mate, you can have them. I am gifting to you my knockoff Mirage, letting you have it, FOC, I'll post it to you, you can have it for nothing. So it can be material for your next knockoff beatdown video as and when you get around to doing one. So yeah, if you want me to uh, send this toy to you, then 
you can contact me in one of two ways. You can uh, either send me a video, uh, a, a personal message, a private message through YouTube, or as I'm one of your followers on uh, Google Plus, you can contact me privately through Google Plus and you know let me know whether you want it and maybe pass on your shipping address to me then. So yeah, it's yours if you want it for you. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, I will get you know my long arm review done ASAP so I can get this flipping video week done and dusted because I'm fed up of bloody sitting here just uh, trying to bring myself to to bring it out to you. So anyway, see yous.